I recently got a question from Quara that uh, how one can learn C just in 10 days. I mean, this is programming and no language can be learned thoroughly just in 10 days. But I have some tips and tricks that you can use to learn at least basics of C just in 10 days. This is Geet Chauhan and welcome to Future Unbox. So the very first step for everything is just doing it. Now if you want to learn programming then you must do it. So how can you get started? I have a really good book that is UnCC which is written by E. Balaguru Sami. This is a really good book and it will be your bible for C. So read it and keep it with you every time you program. It is a really good book and do the examples of the book so that you can actually be proficient at the language. So on the first day you learn about the introduction of C. Then you go through the different operators like the arithmetic operators, the logical operators and learn it how to use it. You know just the structure of the code that how a C code works what is the task of that uh, main function and why these curly braces are used you just learn the syntaxes and you just practice a lot that will be enough for the day one now the second thing that you have to do is to learn about the loops and the conditional statements like the if else so how, how we can use if else statement so if, if this condition satisfies then you do this if not then you do the code inside the else condition so this is about the if else now the other thing is the for loops and while loops these are the loops which are used for iteration if you are using for loop then you can loop through a code for a specific amount of times I mean if you want to loop through a code for 10 times then you can write a code according to that that for an integer is equal to 0 it is less than 10 then integer will be incremented and in that way you can use the for loop on the other hand there is a while loop so the working of while loop is a bit same as the for loop but is a little bit different so you can see it inside the book that how these loops works the other thing is the switch statement so for condition checking switch statement will be very useful so the second task for you is to learn all these loops and the conditional statements and practice a lot of them because it is pretty much important in any language if you are learning any language these kind of loops will be there whether it is c whether it is c plus plus whether it is java so you have to learn it thoroughly and you must be proficient at them the next thing that you have to do is to learn the arrays now what are the arrays these are the ones which carries more than one values or a group of values of same data type so if you want a container which which carries a lot of values but which are of same data type then you can learn arrays so the arrays are one of the most important things inside the c because these are the only basic containers in c language if you consider c plus plus then there is a lot of thing to have like vectors dax but in c there is only one thing that is arrays the next thing you have to learn is the pointers now the pointers are the heart of C language so you have to learn it thoroughly and this is the point where you need to slow down a little bit because it is a bit hard and problematic and learning pointers is a bit of pain so slow down your pace and just go through the pointers thoroughly and learn it properly 
learning pointers will get you past 10 days but this is not the end actually these all are the basic topics of C but C is a huge language there is a lot to learn in this language so after learning pointers I think you will have 10 days gone so what to do the next you can learn the string.h header or string.h library this is a pretty good library for manipulating the strings and character arrays the second thing you can do is learn structures and unions as they are a little bit like classes in java so this is a step towards the object oriented programming so you can learn all these things after you learn the basics of the language this is pretty much you can learn in 10 days if you don't get to this point then don't worry there's a lot of thing to learn and practice a lot work harder and practice practice and practice so that you can learn the C and one day you will be proficient at the language happy coding